Before you watch this video, I want to warn you that it will contain spoilers for the major plot twists in Persona 5. So, if you haven't completed it yet, I advise you close this video right now. Hey everyone, and welcome to Cross Poor Games. Now guys, after almost five months, I have now completed Persona 5. So now I would like to share with you something I wasn't a huge fan of. Where Goro Akechi's storyline ultimately led in the end. Now don't get me wrong, I loved the reveal that he was the man behind the black mask. I just felt that ultimately the detective was used to build up Shido as an antagonist. And after hours upon hours of getting to know this character, I was extremely disappointed to see how it all went down in the end. So, in this video I will briefly be going over my idea for how I would have handled Goro's storyline, from the reveal, fight, and much more. Let's begin, shall we? Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. At the beginning of the game, we are told there is a traitor amongst our group. Now let me say this now before we continue, I am scrapping this scene entirely in my idea. Although it might seem that this is a good way to begin a game, ultimately it wasn't when Goro is a storyline confidant which in turn puts suspicion on him as soon as you begin to learn more about him. The only other individual with a storyline confidant in our group was Morgana, and if you had to choose between the two on who you thought the traitor was going to be, when you see the police outside the casino, no less, it doesn't take long before you put the pieces together. Or at least it didn't for me. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Now, I would have completely changed how Goro was initially perceived by the general public when the Phantom Thieves first show up in Japan's headlines. Instead of everyone praising Akechi as a great detective and wanting to place the thieves in a court of law, I instead would have made him out to be someone who isn't looked at in a good light by the majority of Japan's population, as he will support them from day one in my alteration. As soon as Goro meets the protagonist at the television studio, he would have already garnered some quote-unquote haters for his beliefs, calling the thieves just. Now, if we remember, Goro's social link, or confidant, starts shortly thereafter. This confidant would of course be tied to the storyline, but in my idea, that wouldn't be the case. His social link would not begin until you recruit him for the first time before the November dungeon. You would be then given opportunities to hang out with Goro like any other confidant. It is up to you as the player to spend time with him or not. Now speaking of the November dungeon, here is where things will change. As we know in the original game, this is the casino dungeon. Sai Nijima's dungeon. There were multiple reasons for the Phantom Thieves to steal her heart, such as stopping her from investigating them, or more importantly, making sure the masked man doesn't kill her shadow, giving Sai a mental shutdown as a result, which of course, much like Okumura, would have given the public more reason to despise the thieves. But again, let's scrap this, guys, okay? I want you to imagine this dungeon did not happen. Instead, we replace Sai's dungeon for Shido's dungeon in November. Instead of simply stealing Sai's heart, preventing death and investigation, 
we would instead go right to the source of who is causing all of this in the first place. As we know, Masayoshi Shido is Goro's father. Once Goro gained his power, Shido begins to keep the young man around as a pawn in his game to ascend the political ladder. Before we enter Shido's dungeon in November, the end of the voting process for a new Prime Minister would soon be coming to a close. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go back a bit, shall we? One day, whilst the protagonist sits at home, he watches an interview. Goro is the guest being interviewed. At this point in the game, he would have become well known for his support for the now labelled murderers that are the Phantom Thieves. He would then reveal something to the public. He will announce that he thinks he has finally found out the identity of the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns and psychotic breakdowns. He has been investigating. Interested, the Phantom Thieves would like to meet with Goro as soon as possible and find out more without revealing their identities. As the MC often sees Goro whilst going to school, with Goro approaching him now and again, he would be chosen to speak with him. Goro makes a deal with the protagonist. Tell me you are who I think you are, and I will help you in any way that I can. Eventually, the team will reveal themselves to Goro as they trust his word. At this point, all we have been seeing as a player is Goro wholeheartedly supporting the Phantom Thieves, so we will have no reasons to not trust him. To discover the true criminal, the thieves, along with Goro, would work together to track him down. They would investigate thoroughly. As soon as the campaigns for a new Prime Minister begin, the MC would recognise Shido from his previous altercation with the man. Not knowing the link between Goro and Shido, the party would listen to Goro the most as he has supposedly been against Shido for a long time now, and is in the process of making a case against him. After discovering that Shido has a palace, the team enters said palace along with Goro, who insists that he would like to go with them. The team refuse this at first, but Goro manages to outsmart the thieves and enters by pressing the nav app himself on the MC's phone, transporting them. As a big fan, Goro would claim that he wanted to see them in action more than anything. Unbeknownst to the thieves, the real plan here is for Goro to kill the thieves when they make it to Shido's shadow. He supposedly doesn't believe he can take them on right now, but in truth, Goro is hiding his true power from Shido as well. Shido goes along with this plan to be rid of the thieves and therefore uses the research stolen from Wakaba to change the thought process behind his shadow. He makes sure his shadow has no knowledge of Goro when he sees him, because if Shido's shadow were to spill all about Goro, their plan would be ruined. After making it through the boat to a certain extent, Goro confronts the man he is supposedly trying to have thrown in jail for causing the breakdowns and shutdowns. After a long talk, Shido's shadow strikes Goro and tosses him aside through a wall in the boat. The thieves, unable to see Goro through the rubble, begin to shout for him, whilst keeping one eye on Shido's shadow. We then begin a cutscene where a blue light is radiating from the collapsed wall, with this familiar tune playing. You will be able to hear Goro scream out in pain. My head hurts. And all of a sudden, the entire wall will be blown away by a massive spark of power. Goro will then emerge with his persona, Robin Hood. This is what separates us! Now, as a player, at this point, you would believe that Goro is awakening to his persona here for the first time, but instead, he would merely be tricking all of you, as of course, he has had these powers for a long time now. Goro would then make his way back to Shido, and the battle would begin with some of Shido's lackey shadows. This would be the same kind of battle we would have seen from the other party members after they awakened. After the intense battle, Goro will feign that he is tired, and everyone will evacuate the palace and plan ahead for the coming battle with the soon-to-be 
Prime Minister. We will now skip ahead. After defeating Shido's palace with the same tune as every other boss had before. That's right, not rivers in the desert. Not yet, guys. That's for later. The shadow will begin to weep, apologizing for everything he has done. Shido would then focus on the MC, telling him that he's sorry for what he put him through when they first met. The MC would make his way to the shadow and would have a few dialogue options. Once you would have chosen said dialogue option, it would initiate another cutscene. We zoom in on Shido, whose tears quickly disappear. He then smirks at the protagonist and tells the MC that his days as a thief are over. He is now going to die. Shocked by this, the camera zooms in on the MC's face, and then all you hear is this. The MC slowly turns around to find Goro with pistol in hand. He would kill Shido's shadow. The team look on in bewilderment and worry, because they know from what's happened with Okumura that if a shadow of a palace ruler is killed, the real-life person will suffer a mental shutdown. You see, Shido's shadow knew of the plan he made with Goro to kill the thieves. He smirked because he believed Goro was going to shoot the MC in the back of the head. This would then give the Shadow the perfect chance to get up and take down the remaining members. But, this is not what happened. Goro reveals all. He tells the Phantom Thieves of his true self. That he is the son of Masayoshi Shido. The man who caused his mother to commit suicide. He wanted to ruin Shido when he was at the very top of the political ladder. By disposing of the man who made his life a misery, he would eventually be seen as a hero to the general public. He would expose all the lies Shido told, and people would begin to accept Goro. After learning of the Phantom Thieves and how that they had the same power as Goro, he knew that if he used them to weaken Shido, he would be able to cause him a mental shutdown as well. Shido labeling the thieves as murderers was the icing on the cake for Goro. Once Shido suffers a mental shutdown, people will believe the righteous phantom thieves killed him. Goro would then admit he was wrong about the thieves being just, gather all of the evidence he can easily acquire from Shido's office, and then release it to the media, exposing Shido in the process as well. Shido and the Phantom Thieves would both be known as murderers. Goro would be known as a hero who saved Japan. Goro would have only one thing left to do at this point. Throw the thieves in jail, where they will rot for the rest of their lives. Goro would do this because he only desires to have the spotlight on him. Although he admires the protagonist in particular, for not letting anything stop him from making his true path, he can't have someone else steal what he wants more than anything in the world. Ultimately, Goro sacrificed his somewhat good amount of fame at the time to finally become the most famous detective in Japan, or perhaps the world. After his quick explanation, Goro would escape the palace, leaving the others behind. He doesn't kill them, instead, he wants them put away for life. This, of course, leads us to our December dungeon, which would be Goro's Palace. Now, there is some speculation out there that a Persona user cannot have a palace, but we need to remember that it was a god that granted Goro powers. He didn't accept himself or the world around him to any degree. Therefore, we can give Akechi a palace. 
The idea of this palace is to represent envy, which was originally Sai's sin. Goro is envious of the thieves for their ability to keep moving forward on their own path without the need for anyone's approval or acceptance. Before entering Goro's palace, Goro will release his evidence to the police and will dispose of any of Shido's lackeys, some of which we met in Shido's palace, by giving them mental shutdowns. At this point, any mental shutdowns could simply be blamed on the Phantom Thieves. Akechi will gain fame throughout the world, and the Phantom Thieves' popularity will reach 0%, as Goro will announce that he was wrong about them originally. He must now find them, and throw them in jail. For Goro Akechi's palace, his trigger word will be... Kingdom. A palace that will look like it is straight from a fantasy novel. No, this will not be a simple medieval castle like Kamoshida. This will be an entire kingdom. A kingdom worthy of a hero, with shadows casting away all villains. As we know, Goro believes himself to be a hero, and those who oppose him as villains. This palace will be grander than Shido's, and with music to match. It will be mesmerizing to look at. The human cognitions will all recognize Goro as a hero who saved Japan. Here you will find such sub-bosses as Koryu, a golden dragon who will fly around Goro's kingdom. Once confronting Akechi, you will defeat his shadow in battle, but not convince it that it was wrong. In comes the actual Goro, who will then trigger the December Dungeon boss fight many of us were hoping for. Rivers of the desert will play, the beautiful kingdom will start to break down, the sky will turn a blood red, symbolizing that this is Goro's true nature, and we begin the fight. Show you who I really am. Come, 
Goro will recognize the thieves, and more importantly the MC, as the true Just Ones. He will accept that he was wrong and was blinded by his craving for revenge and fame. Of course though guys, this will be a lot more detailed if it were in game. Later, you defeat the gods behind everything. Then the final cutscene plays. The group drive off. We then slowly pan to Goro, who stands there, smiles, and says, Thank you for everything. Rings in trouble, and I'd like everyone's input. Ooh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> if this is any more work, count me out. You know you want to, Inari. I'm getting out. Why'd you up? Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Let me off. Hey, stop moving around. <laughs> And there you have it guys, that's my idea for what I would have liked to have seen from Goro in Persona 5. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below, and if you guys have any ideas, make sure to post them too. Subscribe for everything Persona, and until next time, I'll see you later.